everyone. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving day and meal with your family and hope you got to spend a little bit of time at the markets and spend quality time with your family. That's all that truly matters in this world. Making money from the markets is just a bypass, but spending the quality time you have with your family and from working and all the time you have from working and trading and staring at the charts and finally can relax a little bit and spend quality time with your family. That's all that matters, okay? All right. For any of you who are new to my channel, this is Super String Trader. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe for notification on new videos I release in the future. I make daily swing trading videos on stocks and forex using supply and demand. After watching this video, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps people who are wanting to learn how to trade supply and demand find my videos. With that being said, let's go on with the analysis. Today we're going to take a look at Serve. It's a stock on the New York's on the CBOE stock exchange. As you know, I trade the I usually trade the three month monthly weekly and just wait for wait for that. But recently I've been trading the lower time frames like the monthly, weekly and daily. Ch checking the charts at least once a day for potential setups. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at the monthly, weekly, and daily and see what we have going on. I always look at the top time frame first and use at least three time frames to make my decision. So we can see there's a strong area of demand right here, but price overshot it. So it's no good no more. So I'm going to make a transparent box letting myself know that it's been overshot and then there's a strong area of demand or a supply created up here the strong white body downward candle on the weekly we have price has been making good rallies strong rallies never retraced though Never retrace to this strong zone. Never retrace to this strong zone. Yes, can you trade other other strategies like the some of the other professional traders they use like the three bar play, like the rally based rally. Yeah, sure, you could do that, but that's not part of my trading plan. That's not part of my trading strategy, and I do not buy when it's that expensive. Like for example, when it made all time highs, I do not want to buy. I want to buy the retracement. I want to always trade with the trend. Like they say, the trend is your friend until it ends. So I do not want to buy when price is so expensive. I want to buy the pullback and it almost pulled back in this at this point, but it never did. So now price dropped and created these areas of supply. Now this is this is a rally and then drop base rally drop so clear trend line down to the downside got these strong white body bearish candles this basing is not good because you can see this stair stair case basing is not very good and there's too much trading in this area so when it comes back up here we need to wait for confirmation again price drop found a, a area of support because it's not demand because it already removed this demand so demand is not in control it's just some kind of artificial support meaning that it may try to base and then come back down and it did create this area of supply so this is a pretty good high probability trade to to short if you're able to short now some a lot of these US stocks are very hard to short especially if they're not penny stocks they're hard to short and what I mean is they're hard to um, 
they're hard to find shares to short but if you can that's good and also it's hard to short um, to bet that it's gonna go down because there is not a lot of there are options and these options for these smaller stocks are not very liquid and what I mean by not very liquid is that they don't have a lot of a lot of open interest and a lot of interested buyers and sellers okay and there's just not a lot so the market makers are not not uh, giving those options are not not creating options for this particular stock but anyway so we have a strong area of supply created here and on the daily we have a strong area of supply created up here so the price goes up here high chance that it's gonna at least drop back down and get you your three percent risking shorting at 40 34 and stop loss at 42 or 42 45 or so and you know getting your 3% down here and that is all what trading is is making sure you have your risk to reward risking 1% to make the 3% once you get that maybe once it goes up to 2% or so move your stop loss to break even and then let the rest work to 3% maybe take half half your position off at 3% and let the rest ride or whatever your trading plan wants you to do but as for now we are bearish on this stock because of these you know strong downward moves and we are thinking that once it comes back up to the supply zone it's going to drop even further because there are no areas of demand to the to the bottom here no area no strong areas of demand at all so we'll see what happens can um, if price wants to break this zone and go higher then I would definitely look to buy so I would be keeping a, a close eye on this if it does this then I will buy at the new zone that's created okay and so I hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video have a good Thanksgiving holiday once again